Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, five amazing Bitcoin jars, a trading tip, which projects am I buying at the moment, a travel tip, of course, talking about the news, answering the question of the followers, and yes, also an inspirational quote at the end, but we're going to start with the charts, and I'm going to explain also why I'm not walking anymore, because if I'm walking, guys, there is sun, it's a very strange light over here. It's like not as clear screen anymore. Anymore. and if I am in this corner with these trees then every time the colors are beautiful so I will stand here instead of walking uh, I prefer walking because then maybe we see some beach and booties but yeah maybe you can see some booties here in the background as well let's jump into the charts and see what is happening to Bitcoin today guys the first chart of the day guys is this four hour chart this four hour chart we have a buy signal we need to close a candle above the yellow stepping line Yes, the blue line is already above the white line and the white line starts to curl slowly now to the top side, it's beautiful. Here the perfect situation is that the green line is on top and here we should see green hills instead of the beach and the sea guys, so the yellow and the blue. So we need to wait a little bit longer to get an official buy signal. Again, the move won't be huge because we have a Bollinger Band at this volume area over there, out 69K, 70K. Uh, but if we break that, then of course the trade will be going up to that next level, 71K, and that could be a beautiful buy signal trade. You can see to the left, this was also a buy signal and a sell signal over there. So yes, sometimes these signals also are a loss. Above the candle, we should have bought over there. The sell signal came directly, you sold over there, so you had some loss. It's not always bulletproof, but 70% of the times you will be winning in trade. Just like over here, they're trading, they're taking your profit. They're trading, they're taking your profit. So yes, always in for some profit, but not 100% profit guarantee, like every system, guys. But the thing that you need to understand is that we need a quadruple confirmation, uh, and mostly when we have that quadruple confirmation, that is a good trade. Like you can see over here, we were green, the green line was on top, here the blue line was above the white line, we had that buy signal, but still it was a loss. So yes, it's possible, but mostly when we have this setup, it is a profit. Now, if you zoom out to the day channel, we can see uh, we're still in this move. We're going sideways like a little bit over here at the moment. So yes, I think we could go a little bit more sideways uh, until we are happy to take off to that next level of 80K. The MACD on the bottom, yes, is going a little bit bearish. So we have a, a bearish cross there. The blue line is going to cross the red line. Mostly when that happens, if you look in the past, when that happens over here, this is when it crosses downwards, we get these red bars again. That's mostly going down in price then. And of course we can go up again and come down, but mostly when we break bearish, yes, we can see a small retrace, maybe really again to this top over here, 67K before we really break out, guys. If you look at coin market cap at the moment, uh, we have a market cap in Bitcoin of 1.3 trillion US dollar. The next one on number two is Ethereum with 462 billion US dollar. Then we have Tether with 111 billion US dollar. BNB with 88 billion. Sol with 75 billion USDC with 32, uh, one that I don't want to mention, but has a huge market cap, XRP 29 billion, but Dogecoin is closer. So I would be investing in Dogecoin instead of this one over there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of beautiful projects. Also over here, the project I talked about a couple of days ago, near protocol, going to place 17 already, 8 billion US dollar. Keep your eye on this project as well, guys. Now let's jump into some charts that are more interesting. This is the first one. This is the Bitcoin Macro Oscillator by Willy Hu. You can find it on his website. Um, kind of just very interesting to see that when we top out to these levels over there with that purple line, that's also the Bitcoin market top. Again, when we top out over there, there was a double top, a distribution top. Yeah, we have a top over here as well, top. Now we are just here and we just fell down to the 0 0.69 level. So that's not like really high. We can go up from at least two levels before we reach the top. We are now here at this line. We can still go up two levels, which will also mean that the price will go up massively above that 100K. Because the last times, for example, that we went up two levels, just to give you an, a, a short indication, we were here to go up two levels. That moment that we were here, when we were just above that 10K level, that is when we got started. Bam, to 70K. 
So every time, the moment that we went up two levels from here, for example, two levels up to there, it's all the way here from around like $2,000, well, maybe even $1,500, all the way up, bam, to another height at like above 10K. So yes, from these levels, we can massively move up and easily go times two with the price. And also what you see on this chart, this is a weekly chart. So we are comparing a couple of charts now with each other. What we are looking at now is the top frame this is the crypto total market cap excluding the top 10 then we have the crypto total market globe cap excluding uh, ETH uh, and BTC then over here we have the crypto total market cap excluding the top 10 and here we have how we normally move after certain um, fractals in the chart so every time when we do the same when we break out of the scalp we have like a resistance line that orange line is first resistance and that turns into support and after that we break out every time you can see many of these fractals everywhere here it is resistance it turns into support massive breakout again here we have that cup it turns into resistance it turns into support we will see a massive breakout and a massive breakout is the whole market cap guys excluding the top 10 so all of these are looking pretty bullish every of these is looking bullish so do understand that when it resistance is converted into support there will be a breakout this time again and we will go of course without the top 10 even to 1 trillion US dollar which would mean that also of course the top 10 will go higher this is the pattern you need to look for um, on charts guys very interesting observation now if we look to bitcoin of course and the monthly this on bitstamp we can see exactly the same over here this is this horizontal line it is resistance over there and then it starts to act as support and when it acts as support we go up bam and we touch that red trend line that we can see over there on the RSI on the bottom, we have a downward trend line, so we are creating lower RSI tops. But every time when we cross, every time when we cross, we have a bull market. Cross over here, bull market. And then again, we have that line of resistance, which will turn into support. And then, of course, we will go again to that line over there, which is between 100 and 160 k And that will be topping out over there with the RSI. So it's a very simplified job, but very interesting to see. And if you ask me, yes, these moments are still amazing moments to buy Bitcoin. There is no bearish cross. It's still in the bullish cross movement. We need to go at least to these levels over there in the RSI. So yes, we can go way higher with that price. Still a beautiful moment to accumulate Bitcoins, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's charts, guys. Yes, short-term volatility around the 70K. We are a beautiful range between 60 and 72K, which is an amazing range to be in after the halving. Yes, from here, we will break out somewhere to that 80K level. And maybe even this year already touch that 100K level. And after that, guys, in 2025, we will have that massive bull market, that explosive, like a four-year run all the way up to like 100 140 150 maybe even 160k so that is what i think and i think it's very important for you guys to understand uh, i am still investing on a daily basis. i'm still accumulating bitcoin every day yes it won't go times five or times four maybe but even doubling my capital today is a beautiful opportunity so for you you should be buying as well and yes believe me on one other thing don't buy the t-shirt that i bought because i thought it should work six pack coming soon i've been wearing this t-shirt now for a year still no six pack so the t-shirt doesn't work let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys well there are some noise at the back yes they start to clean every time when i'm filming and maybe i should start walking again but the trading tip for today guys is four amazing projects if it comes to web3 gaming you should take a look at avalon and ether games both of these web3 dreams are going to be massive games in the future i believe i did invest already in them i already talked about them in another video so ether games and avalon are going to be big projects i would be investing in them if i were you i will put the links to the websites of those projects down below the video guys and then there is two very interesting d5 projects that i'm investing in that's cred bull c-r-e-d bull and uh, of course commonwealth commonwealth i'm already talking about that for a year or something when i told you to buy the nft one and two generation now uh, cred bull also investing in that one so four projects for today avalon ether games Kretbull, so with a C, Kretbull, how do you pronounce in English? And yes, of course, Commonwealth. 
Commonwealth, very important one. So that was the training tip for the day, four amazing projects for you to pick up. For the travel tip today, guys, I'm answering one of the questions of the followers. The question was, Didi, after Token 2049, we are going to go as a family to Thailand. Which place would you recommend to stay for over a month? So if you travel to Thailand, it all depends on what you are searching for as a family. If you want a little bit more relaxed, chill, cool vibe, a tropical feeling, I would say Koh Phangan would be a beautiful island. There's an amazing, beautiful crypto community over there, but it's also just a little bit more chill than Koh Samui, for example, or Phuket. Koh Samui and Phuket are like the bigger islands in Thailand, where there's more facilities and where there's way more to do. So for our age kids, like 19, 17, 14, they like a little bit more activity. So they prefer Phuket because there's also shopping malls, cinemas, uh, they can go to parties, they can do the beach club. So Phuket is the place for us as a family to be. When the kids were younger, we preferred Koh Phangan. They didn't need beach clubs, they didn't need shopping malls, they didn't need all of that. So Koh Phangan at that moment was for us the best. A beautiful beach vibe, an amazing community, and just a lot of crypto people over there. So if your kids are younger, yes, I would say go to Koh Phangan. It's really chill, but don't expect a McDonald's, don't expect a pizza, don't expect a shopping mall on Koh Phangan. It's just not there. It's a beautiful island, focus on health, Focus also on parties, focus on just beautiful tropical beaches, focus on good food, focus on amazing community. That is what Copagan stands for. If you want a little bit more activities near Copagan, you would go to Koh Samui. And if you even want more than that, then you come visit us in Phuket because there's a shitload of families living in Phuket because there's a lot of international schools, shopping malls. Like I said, there's a little bit more to do in Phuket. Now, then there is another island that a lot of people always forget. That's Koh Chang. Ko Chang, near the Cambodian border, is also an amazing island. It's like Koh Samui, but like 10 years ago or 20 years ago. So it's also up and coming, beautiful beaches, also a good vibe, but a little bit bigger than Koh Phangan. So those are the top four islands I would visit as a family at the moment. Answering the question of one of the followers, Didi, where do I store my NFTs? So, NFTs you can store in any Web3 wallet. So for example, MetaMask is a beautiful place to store your NFTs, but also any other self-custody wallet like Trust or Exodus, all these wallets can hold your NFTs. The easiest way to connect to all those Web3 platforms plus being safe is using your MetaMask in combination with your ledger. So your ledger is part of your MetaMask, which means you can connect very easily through the MetaMask extension to any of those Web3 websites or OpenSea or whatever you want to buy these NFTs. Very simple connection because of MetaMask. But then the second step, adding your ledger to the MetaMask makes it a little bit more safer because then the only way to send your NFTs out of your MetaMask is when your ledger is being connected and then when you do all the tasks, for example, on your ledger. I don't know for sure if any other hardware wallet also already works with a MetaMask, but the ledger is working with MetaMask and that is the safest way. So you store all your NFTs on your MetaMask, but you connect it with your ledger, then to be able to send your NFTs out of your wallet, you need to connect your ledger first. That's the safest way. Then you can't be hacked that simple. And if you're hacked, they won't be able to send it anywhere because they don't have your ledger. So that's the safest way to store your NFTs. Web3 wallet, connection with a hardware wallet. That's very safe. The news for today, guys, is that the exchange traded products for Bitcoin reached a new all-time high for 2024. In total, now $14.9 billion worth of exchange traded products in Bitcoin flowed into this industry. Last week, we had again a $1 billion worth of inflows. This is massive. So it's now $14.9 billion worth of inflows only in 2024. That was the inflows that you heard in the background, like $14.9 billion worth of inflows in 2024. This is going to insane heights. Like I told you in yesterday's video, all these spot ETFs have accumulated already 1 million Bitcoins together. That's massive. This is going to increase. They understand exactly what Bitcoin is going to do for their wealth. It's going to protect their wealth against inflation. It's going to increase tremendously. So double up or triple up their capital in the next 12 months. They know when to exit as they have been playing these games for ages, guys. The fact that there are so many huge inflows, 1 billion in total, 15 billion almost. And the fact that the whales are accumulating Bitcoin and those people are accumulating Bitcoin and I am accumulating Bitcoin should be very clear for you that you should be accumulating Bitcoin as well. 
So the news for today is everyone is accumulating Bitcoin. You should be accumulating Bitcoin because we are going to see a second part of this bull market and it's going to bring us to beautiful heights. The inspirational part for today, guys, is, uh, of course, another quote. Again, today, a quote of Bob Marley, not wearing a Bob Marley shirt, but a yeah, six-pack coming soon t-shirt, which still is not working. Also, now in the last 10 minutes, six-pack is still not there, guys. But the inspirational quote is, uh, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. I think it's one of my favorite quotes of all time. Yes, there is way more beautiful quotes uh, if you ask other people, but for me, this one is very important. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery because none but ourselves can free our mind. Because it is all up to ourselves. It's all up to you and me. We can be complaining about everyone and everything around us, but it's all up to you to free your mind. You need to emancipate from mental slavery. That mental slavery that is brought up on you because of all the centralized entities, because of all the schools, because of all your friends, because of all your family, they are kind of forming your mind. And you need to emancipate from that mental slavery. That's the only way to be able to free your own mind. None but ourselves can free our mind. You are responsible. I am responsible. My daughters are responsible. They're all responsible for emancipating from that mental slavery to be able to free their own mind. Because no one is going to help them. That is what Bob Bali meant with that quote. It is all up to yourself. If you want to see a change in your life, you need to change. If you want to see a change in other people's lives, you need to change yourself as well. Because when you change, you lead by example and they will follow. At least if they like what you're doing, because some people just want to stay stuck in a, you know, that vicious hamster wheel that they want to keep running because they're happy like that. Leave them happy like that. Leave everyone happy the way they think that they're happy. But if you want to change, you need to emancipate yourself from mental slavery. That's the only way to free up your mind from all those other people, all those other uh, opinions, all those other external factors that are trying to have an influence on you or that you let influence yourself. Because that's also the truth. All of those people can say whatever they want. It's up to you to block that or accept it. You let them influence you. It's not them. Never blame other people or other situations because you are the one letting it happen to you. So the quote for today, emancipate yourself from mental slavery because none but ourselves can free our mind. That is the one that I want to give you today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what did you think about the charts, about the tips, and about everything else today. I wish you an amazing day, and see you tomorrow again.